Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is retrograde menstruation? How is it related to endometriosis? And can it cause infertility is the topic for today. Retrograde menstruation is also known as menstrual reflux. It is a condition that occurs when menstrual blood flows back through the fallopian tubes into the pelvic cavity instead of out of the body through the vagina. This condition is common in many women, but when it happens excessively, it can lead to infertility. During the menstrual cycle, the lining of the uterus thickens in preparation for pregnancy. If pregnancy does not occur, the uterus sheds its lining and the blood flows out through the cervix and vagina, which is called as a period. In women with retrograde menstruation, some of the menstrual blood flows backward through the fallopian tubes into the pelvic cavity, where it can cause inflammation, scarring, irritation and damage to the reproductive organs. The immune system normally removes any menstrual debris from the pelvic cavity, but in some women it may not be able to clear all of the blood effectively. This can lead to the formation of endometriosis. This is a condition in which the tissue that lines the uterus grows outside of the uterus and can cause pain and infertility. Endometriosis can cause scarring, additions, damage to the ovaries, fallopian tubes and uterus. This can make it very difficult for the egg to travel through the fallopian tubes and also for the fertilized egg to implant in the uterus. Endometriosis can also affect the quality and function of the eggs and sperm, which can decrease the chance of success. The symptoms vary. They may include painful periods, chronic pelvic pain, pain during sex, infertility, fatigue, bowel or bladder problems, and endometriosis can be diagnosed through a physical examination, ultrasound or a laparoscopy, a surgical procedure which allows the doctor to view the pelvic organs and take the tissue sample for biopsy. There are several treatment options for endometriosis which include medication, surgeries, assisted reproductive technologies especially if you're trying for pregnancy, pain medication and hormonal therapies such as birth control pills or gonadotrophin releasing hormone agonists. GnRH it's called as can help manage symptoms and prevent the growth of endometriotic tissue in severe cases surgery may be necessary to remove this effective part which can restore your reproductive organs function but for women who are trying to conceive and this is severe IVF may be a good option if you want to understand more about this please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you